Hey everyone, it's Sandra, and this is quite an impromptu video. I'm like in an organizational cleaning type of mood. As you know, over the last year, over the last couple of years even, I've just been really focused on using products up and I started I stopped doing haul videos and I started doing like empties and new product videos instead kind of showing you like an in and out type of process when it comes to getting and using new makeup and skincare I selected a set of products that I really want to focus on using up in the first quarter of this year and then I can kind of film an update video at the end of um, like at, at the start of spring maybe and, and show you like the progress that I've made in using the products up and if there's any new products that I want to focus on using up. So it's kind of like a project pan type of thing. I know that there's quite a serious project pan community on, if you search like the project pan hashtag on Instagram or on YouTube, there are so many people that, that do this and some people like that's the their, their sole focus of their channel and it's really great. If you ever want to just get inspired to use up what you have, um, I highly recommend checking that out. But I'm the type of person where I'm very much an everything in moderation type of person. I find that in all aspects of my life from like eating healthy, like from eating habits to exercise to shopping, I'm, I perform best where I don't, when I don't set any harsh limits on myself because the second I, I tell myself I can't have something, I'm constantly thinking about ways that I can get it. So this is just like, loose. I'm not going on like a ban of any sorts. I'm still going to buy products if I feel like buying something, but I just want the focus of the next few months to be on um, using up these products. And I selected, I have nine products here that I wanted to share with you and I'm wearing a couple of them today. I, uh, like I mentioned, I, I didn't really set out to do a video on this specifically. I just kind of, I was cleaning stuff up and I wanted to put these products at the top of my vanity so that every time I get ready in the morning, I'm confronted with these products and I can kind of be reminded to incorporate at least one of these products, maybe more, into my looks on a regular basis. And uh, I'm sure you will see them peppered into my get ready with me videos and makeup routines, tutorials, and stuff like that coming up the next couple months. So yeah, I wanted to share with you the price that I'm going to be focusing on using up. And uh, maybe we can do this as a little challenge together. Go take a look at your makeup collection. It doesn't have to be nine or 10 products, even if it's just one or two things that we can focus on using up together in the next couple months, that would be awesome. I'm going to start and show you foundation. So this is the foundation I want to use up first. It's the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation. I like this foundation. I don't love it by any means. I love the color of it. It has um, the shade 4.5 is this beautiful, light yellow olive undertone. And it's just the type of color that I cannot get in a lot of foundation brands. Even in the Armani color range, like this exact color is not duplicated across any of their other formulas, which is kind of strange. So I love the color match that I have in this more than the actual formula itself. The formula itself is just like, it's fine. Um, nothing really to write home about. It doesn't last that long, like it lasts really well on the rest of my face, but it does not wear well around my nose and my mouth. So yeah, I, I figured I can use this up. I really like mixing this actually with the, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And then I also have a couple of concealers here. This is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I use this in the shade medium and uh, I have used up quite a bit of this. I'm just ready, I'm just ready for it to go. I actually like to use this on my face as a very natural looking base. I don't like to use this as a concealer. I find that this does crease and it looks really greasy under my eyes. A lot of people love this under their eyes. So this is the type of product where it's, you kind of have to try it and see how your skin reacts to it. On my skin, I don't like to wear this under my eyes, but it works really well on the rest of my face, but it does give you just good enough coverage. I can just slap this on and just kind of blend it in on any areas of concern and I'm good to go. Then the other concealer is the Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher. I use this in the shade three and three works well 
when I have a bit of a tan, so I'd like this is something that I would use in the summertime, and I love using this on like areas of hyperpigmentation, um, on any areas of dry skin. I feel like this concealer glides on really well. I talked about it more at length when I did my concealer collection video last year, but out of all the concealers that I have in my collection, this is the oldest one. It needs to be used up. It doesn't smell weird or anything like that. I don't like it. The texture hasn't changed. Like I think I'm still good to use it, but I would like to focus on using this up and not get distracted by any other concealers in my stash. The last complexion product I want to use up is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I have had this for so long. This is like the gift that keeps on giving. I have hit pan on all three shades and I really would love it if I could use this up this year. And especially lately, I have not touched this because I used to use this as a highlighter because I, I'm not... I wasn't a big highlighter person and I wanted something super, super subtle. So I would just use like these two shades kind of mixed together and I would use that as a highlight. But now I am loving cream highlight, which is a bit more intense, but it's really, really flattering and I just haven't been using this. So I think what I'm going to try and do is just use this kind of like an all over setting powder and just kind of use, um, dip my brush into all the shades, just kind of mix it together and give my face a nice veil. I find that people don't talk about the old OG Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders as much. I would definitely like to use this up. And if you're somebody that has this palette and if you've used it up, how did you use it? Are you the type of person that just uses the shades individually in different ways or do you just dip your brush into all the shades and put it all over your face? Because I've kind of used this both ways. I used to use the shade Dim um, just to set my under eye concealer, which is why this is the most used shade. Then when it comes to cheek products, I have a powder blush and a cream blush. With the cream blush, this is a cream blush that I love, but just because it's a cream, and this is the oldest cream blush that I have in my collection. I would like to use this up um, this year. This is the Bobbi Brown Powder Pink Pot Rouge. And this is actually the blush that I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I absolutely love this and I can't believe that it lasted this long because I do reach for it on quite a regular basis. So I would like to kind of put all the other blushes in my stash, I like to put them away so I don't get distracted and I just focus on using this. And then I have this powder blush, this is the Tarte Exposed Blush, which again is very, very old and I hit pan on it, so I feel like I should just focus on using them up. They're quite similar, they're in the same color family. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you will know that I'm very much into this type of color, like the dusty rose nude type of shade. I do prefer the way that the Bobbi Brown color looks on me. It's a little bit warmer and I just find it more flattering on my skin. I'm definitely a lot more into warmer tones than I used to be. This is um, more neutral. It has a beautiful like sculpting look on the cheek. And when I use this Tarte blush, I actually feel like I don't even need to contour or bronze with it. It has like that nice, subtle sculpting ability to it. So that's that for cheeks. And then for lip products, I have three lip products that I will be focusing on using up and uh, two of them are discontinued. So I have this bad habit of hanging on to discontinued makeup products and I just I don't use them. I get to like a quarter of the tube left and I just leave them because I'm scared that, you know, I won't be able to find it again because it's discontinued. But that's such a bad, stupid thing to do because if I just don't use it and I just let time go by, it will go bad and I will have to throw it away and I won't even get to enjoy that last quarter of, um, of the product. And that's kind of what was happening with these two. So I figured, you know what? Just use them, use them every day, enjoy them till the last drop, and then, you know, I'm sure there's so many wonderful lip products out there, I'm sure I'm gonna find something that I like just as much, if not even, not more. So this is the NARS Montego Bay Matte Lipstick. This is a pure matte lipstick. This is a discontinued formula, and uh, this is actually what I have on mixed in with this dusty rose nude pink type of shade. Probably shouldn't even be swatching it considering you can't get this anymore, but if you have this too, maybe we can focus on using this up together. And then the other product is what I have on top, and it's the Dior Incognito Lipstick. This is a really unique nude shade. It's very cool toned. It almost has like a taupey, a taupey pink undertone. Absolutely love the formula. I'm still 
still upset that Dior discontinued this lipstick formula. This is the Dior Addict Extreme lipstick formula and I feel like none of the Dior lip product launches have been as good as this. And I've tried them all. They don't smell like anything. The formula was great. The color payoff was great. The color selection was great. They had so many beautiful nude shades in this formula. Anyway, incognito, beautiful nude. I need to just suck it up and use it up before it goes bad. And then the last lip product that I want to use up is not, not really that old, but because it's an organic brand, um, there's no preservatives in it or anything, so I feel like I should just focus on using this up before it goes bad. That way I kind of just, yeah, it hasn't gone bad, which is great. But this is the Care Vice, um, what is this? The Care Vice Lip Tint in the shade Passionate. I don't think I've ever used this in a video, but as you can see, it's, it's a product that I reach for quite often. The type of lip product that I just throw on on the weekends, if I just want a hint of color and a hint of moisture to my lips, I kind of just dab my finger in this, dab it all over the lips. It's a very low maintenance, easy type of lip product. That's it. So those are the nine products that I will personally be focusing on using up. And I'm sure that you will see some of these products, most of these products in action over the next few get ready with me slash makeup tutorial videos that I do. And uh, yeah, I challenge you to go through your makeup stash and pick out some products that you would like to use up. We can do this together. Let me know what you would like to use up in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.